beautiful. You look stunning. Shar with Hello Beautiful. I was going to give you some sugar on the tea. Oh. Thank you. Oh, not the movie star Corey Hydra. Give me some sugar. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Listen, man, we're seeing some different energy from Corey Hardrick. It's obvious Corey Hardrick is back in the streets and the ladies love him. Black twin, black twin, black twin. I fear you may have jumped the gun with this one. Yes, she did. I don't know what your ex-husband been up to, Corey, but girl, he been out here. He been out here. Once he said, I'll slap your nose off. That's when everything started to change for him. Because look at him. I was like, no. <laughs> did, was, was this who he was when y'all was together? Or, or, did, or did he change up after the divorce? See, that's when you got to tell us something. Y'all can't just be sitting in the house talking about, we ain't going to talk about our personal business. We ain't going to talk about our personal business. Girl, tell us. Because we're trying to figure out if this was the same African-American Negro that you was with and married to, then why'd you get a divorce? But if this is who he has become upon y'all's divorce, Girl, I'm, I'm afraid to say he might have some more kids on the way in the future. And all this without talking shit about his significant other, without him disgracing his family by being public with private information. It's only up from here for Corey Hardrick. Somebody gonna get this man a baby. Do you see him? Do you, you see him? Just being outside with the gold chains. And you know who don't love a good, a good set of gold chains dangling in the face after a long night out. <laughs> Tell us what made you say, uh-uh, not no more. Was it because he was broke or was it, or was he not broke? See, y'all got to tell us something. Y'all got to tell us something. Why this is so funny to me, man, is while Tia Mary is trying to convince everyone that she's so happy and so fulfilled and, you know, hey, she might be, right? But she's trying to convince people online through TikToks and podcasts that she's doing so much better ever since her divorce. Corey Hardrick has said nothing except let his actions speak for him. When a man goes through a tough breakup, when a man goes through some type of divorce, like in this situation, yes, there's pain. There, there are moments of tears, maybe in private. No one else can see, he may be broken. But when it's all said and done, you only have truly one option as a man. And that is to dust yourself off and level up in life. And that is what I believe Corey Hardrick's doing exactly and what every man should do who's in that situation right now. Maury, give Corey Hardrick back to the streets. I'm like, girl, did you really give him back to the streets? Y'all couldn't take like maybe like three to four years apart, mm. five years to kind of separate and come back to each other because the streets, they're going to welcome him with open arms. Right, right. And what I'm seeing is that He's a good looking man. You know, he's working. Um, he seems like a good man because since their divorce, I have not heard him say anything bad about her. Gentlemen, look at what self-improvement does to you, right? Just just, just some, you know, a little, a little movie, a little bit of money. All these chicks are now changing their tune. You know, he, he doesn't look half bad. <laughs> All of a sudden, they're looking at him a little bit differently. You know, they're ready to you know, have a little sip of coffee. It's crazy. She's thrown like a little shade here and there um, from her social media, from my point of view, because you can tell that they, they both heard and that they loved each other. But um, hey, she felt like the relationship no longer served her. So that's what it is. But I'm like, girl, I hope it wasn't a rush decision and you're not going to feel bad from a couple of years when he's like completely over you she and will. have like someone new, you know, she to will. rock with. Oh, girl, this is going to be a hard pill to swallow. But I really want to see him win because he's a good actor and I feel like he's he he needs to receive his flowers. I, I, I just love seeing him like looking healthy and also being in, 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 in movies and just acting. So this, it's really good to see. And um, yeah, so that was kind of hard to hear that they went their separate ways because I really wanted to see them um grow all together but this is me this is my selfish point of view good luck to the both of you guys but i'm still like shocked girl dad you give him back because because she's looking at him like a nice juicy piece of steak the way that she's talking i'll say it here if no one else does i believe that tia mary divorcing corey hardrick will be one of the biggest mistakes she has made not only for her but also for her family as a whole Nobody is having a better summer than Corey Hardrick, okay? Man's been looking good. 
all summer. I don't know if Tia was the problem or what, but what I do know is he ain't have an off day since he had that one day that was off. Mm. Corey Hodrick went through the motions of that divorce and Tyler Perry found him somebody else that he could save. Tyler loved him a good savior story. Boy, I tell you what. And it's been a, it's it's gonna be up and stuck. One thing I will say, when Tyler Perry do take you under his wing, it's gonna be up and stuck for a while, baby. This is the best summer ever for Corey Hardrick. Just look at him. He ain't never looked better. Be so for real. That man is <laughs> I don't think I ever looked twice at Corey Hardrick. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Wow. You look like Tia Huffman. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> 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 they're, ready, they're ready to snatch this man up. But no, Corey, if you see this, call me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm happy for you, though. This is this is a good look. Just going to his page, for real, for real, is like a mood booster. In real life, you could just see him glowing from the inside out. Like, baby boy is really happy. And you deserve it. I think everybody deserves a W. You know what I'm saying? Listen, guys, comment down below. How many... Men, have you seen making videos talking about Tia Mary? I'm glad that you're single. I can't wait to deal with you and the baggage that you come with. Like every other chick who's initiated divorce, in most cases, Tia Mary's probably going to regret this because we sat here and watched this man get indirectly painted as the villain. And then he tried to open up to the public about how he felt, talked about nights where he cried himself to sleep and they all thought it was funny it's it's tough right because you're out here and for you and megan y'all out here promoting this movie mm -hmm. and it makes people want to ask about your personal, personal. situation i mean as they should because they want to know but my whole thing is my real life is my real life and you know i just don't i've never been that way even being in a situation married i, I still never i always protected my kids and um you know, I protected her as well because I feel like that's a man's duty. Mm -hmm. You know, whether mm -hmm. you're together or not, it's always protect her, even though no matter what's going on, I, I, I just don't I don't fall into the pressure. Like you can't mm -hmm. pressure me into putting no one down and saying this is what happened or this did mm -hmm. me like uh -huh. never that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always going to be unconditional love with me because I definitely want her to win and she wants me to win. And we know the truth. And that's just where I leave it. Did you have to call her and say, look, I'm just going to let you know. We doing this movie. It's called this, but it has nothing to do with that. Cause no, okay. no, she just texts me and mm -hmm. says she's very proud of me. That's dope. You know, she's so proud of me. You know, the world don't know that, and they don't see that. They don't need to. Mm -hmm. So it's all, it's all like love. I love you it. You know, it's all love. You know How was it adjusting to like you know, still having your career, but now being in a co-parenting situation, speaking to the kids? Because I saw you had your, I think you, yeah, one of your kids with you at the BT Awards. Like yeah, my, my yeah. son Creed. Yeah, he, he was, was at the BT right? Awards. 13. Mm -hmm. He got to meet in, in Ellie Chopper. He saw a gun. Like, he was excited. You've got to respect the fact that Corey, till this day, doesn't want his personal business out about his children and his relationship to the public. Let's be honest. How many men have we seen in a moment of desperation? It's not a lot, but they, it does happen, right? The Tyrese's and men will get online and complain to the world and cry about their problems when really the internet they're not going to treat you like they're your family and people you care about those are for the people who you hold close to in your own life but like i said we have a great uh co-parent relationship and uh it's about the kids mm -hmm. at the end of the day it's about the kids and um we're doing we're doing great in that in that area and like i said i just i want everybody happy man mm -hmm. and and if I support that. Just happiness. That's what, it. What's it like sharing those moments with your with your child at the BET Awards? Because you know he's ha he's happy to be there with you, but right. then when he sees the NLE Chopper or a Gunner, you're like, hey. No, he was trying to act super cool around me. I was like, Cree, go. On. I was like, son, go get the picture. He was like, Dad, chill. Don't man. embarrass me. But he called me man. He's like, Dad, chill, man. I was like, what? You just called me man? What? <laughs> chill, chill, man. You didn't talk like that, man. What you? He like he was like fronting on me, and I was yeah. like, come on, son, you acting all cool. At least he ain't call you bro, because that's the new thing they be like, yo, bro. He did like, that who too. you call him, bro? He called me bro, but not then. He called me chill, man. I was like, okay, son, I'm going to chill because right now I can't, I don't want to mess up your energy because you're in a good space right now. And he's got inspired by going the next morning. He woke up trained in two hours in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Video showed me the, the, the FaceTime. Like, dad, look, you know, I really want to go to the NBA, you know? So I said, if that can give him that spark, man, that's what I want. Oh, that's what, what he want. wants to do. You want to, he wants to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, Licky, I tell him, you can do anything in this world you want to do. 
And I and it's something on people. I was doing an interview, and we always say hard work, dedication, and then we finish it up with I got God on my side. And he right. said it on People Magazine. Wow. Yeah. So that's wow. that's what's up, man. You single? What's T? What you mean? What, what do you mean? What I mean? This, the ladies want to know. Am I what? Single. Uh, I could just say I'm busy right now. <laughs> One of the false and emasculating narratives that a lot of chicks were trying to paint who were team divorce your man for happiness with that was that Corey Hardrick was lazy, that he was broke. Since Tia Mary is successful in her own right, that she needed to find a man who was equally successful. So the plot twist to this whole buzz surrounding Corey Hardrick is really centered and was sparked from his recent movie, Divorce in the Black. And he said that he got paid the most he's ever gotten paid for a movie in three weeks working with Tyler Perry on this movie. So he's not only working on himself, he's talking about God, etc. He's also getting to that bag. Let's check it out. People yeah, always have positive good. things to say about working with him. I saw Megan Good said she got paid what she deserved That's to get right. paid yeah. after working with him. How were those, those negotiations for you? Listen, I can say the same as Megan. Mm -hmm. I worked on this movie three weeks I'm talking about from when I left my house and when I came back and I've done movies for five months, studio, $70 million budget, $60 million budget. And he paid me the most I ever made in mm. three weeks. Damn. Mm. So that is real. Mm. All Man, right. that's real. He take care of his people. Like he, he make you feel appreciated. That's right. So if y'all, y'all got to work with Tyler Perry. And obviously all this was orchestrated. When I say orchestrated, I'm talking about Tyler Perry and the recent movie, him picking an actor who has been divorced and an actress who's been divorced, which is Megan Good. And I believe Tyler Perry drinks coffee. Do you guys remember this video from a while back? Listen, a, a lot of women, especially black women, and mm -hmm. I might get in trouble for saying this, but- I And you will, you will pay for that, Tyler Perry. But he's like, but I'm rich, so I don't give a f <laughs> you play in the in, in our society right now, mm -hmm. Black women are making a lot more money for the most part than yeah. black men, right? There are a lot of black men who are successful, but for the most part, black women are making the money. So you, if you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job mm -hmm. and is a good man and is good to you mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house and honors his wife and does what he can mm -hmm. because his his gift may not be your gift. Exactly. That is okay. Mm -hmm. That's not somebody who's beneath you. Yeah. That's somebody who came to love you at your worth, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And as long as he's secure in himself to mm -hmm. know that, yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff. You can handle the light bill. Babe, you can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know these women are out here rolling their eyes. That is not how they feel. They're not going for that Tyler Perry. Just have a good heart. Just pay the light bill. This man's tripping, bro. And I don't mean he's, I mean, it would be great, but we got to remember who we're dealing with here. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but that's so hard for a lot of people to take in because that means, no, no, no. I need somebody to, who is, <laughs> I need, I, they need to make five times more and I got to have, the, I got to have. They're looking for you. These chicks are out here looking for Tyler Perry and the man who can afford that and more, a lot more. Tyler Perry is filthy rich, filthy rich. And you have that person serving you coffee and they lost it. They couldn't handle it. They didn't want to drink it. Well, you uh, keep, but go on, keep, keep, go on, keep your list, baby. Yeah. God, God bless you. Hope it happens. Go on, keep your list. <laughs> <laughs> but when you talk about just someone to love you and support yes. you, I, I know people who have, who, whose men can't touch what they make. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when you see them together, that love, that support, that, that I got you, babe, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing. And they do exist. They do exist. I believe that those people he's talking about do exist. I just don't think this is a message for the masses. How do I know? Well, because they came after him in the comment section. But first, let's address something like this first comment that says medium income U.S. black males, 56,000 medium income U.S. black females, 42,000 math ain't mathing. Now, somebody else responded back and says, state your source. I believe that comes from blackdemographics.com. On top of all that, I've done videos in the past where we're like, I've debunked the whole myth of black men being broke and struggling. Don't believe it. Listen, as always, I'm curious to know, what do you guys think? Leave your comments and thoughts down below. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.